It is dumping out here. Sheesh. All right, y'all, we're back for 2023. Today is January 16th. Today we're gonna be checking out Anthony's GX. Uh, he's coming down right now from Tahoe. I got right now my new build for the year. This is a second gen Sequoia. Uh, we're gonna be seeing a lot of this this year also. Right now it's pretty much stock. Yeah, we'll do some videos on that soon. But for now we're gonna check out Anthony's GX. So um, stay tuned. All right, we are here, Dutch Flats, California. Got my boy Anthony right here pulling up. Sick. All right, so we're out here, Dutch Flat, California. Uh, my boy Anthony right here with his GX, uh, doing a little walk around. And uh, what up, Anthony? What's up, y'all? What's up, doing? brother? How you doing? Good, 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 good. It's cold as hell. Cold as hell. <laughs> cold as hell, man. What, what we, we out here? here? <laughs> we out here, man. We made it. So what we got going on over here? Uh, yeah, I was doing a quick walk around for uh, you guys. Uh, right on. Some of you guys are, I guess, curious about the setup. So uh, yep. let's go ahead and uh, get to it. Cool. Well, uh, uh, what year? What year is a GX and what? So trim? this one's a 2018. Uh huh. Um, yeah, GX 460. Okay. Uh, bought it stock. Um, kind of just went from uh, go from there. You know, build it slowly. But yeah, let's go ahead and start with the front. The main part, really, that I like about the front is. The whole bash bar that was custom built by um, this was custom built by Jesus. Um, Instagram is uh, MZ Four Wheel Custom in San Jose. Nice, pretty good job, bro. Like, looks uh, really good. Exactly just how I wanted it. Simple, um, you know, unique, one of a kind. Um, doesn't really alter the whole front end of the GX, which is you know just simple, simple. Um, he added a. Uh, so it's a pretty much whole front bumper with a, a filler plate that's built into it. Um, and nice. then we have a winch mount ready right about here. Just need to get a winch for it. Nice. And we have our uh, uh, the factory 55 uh, uh, winch, uh, I forgot what it's called. Fair lead? Fair lead. Nice, there nice. And he also cool. incorporated um, some Baja uh, mounts. Yeah, how are these mounted on? Are these just on the... So oh, these okay. are mounted uh, directly on the on the bumper. So there's mounts back here. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, so the, the light just mounts there. Sick. Um, and then he did some custom, you know, lining just to go with the uh, with the uh, uh, fog light covers yeah. right there or trim bezels. It actually matches. So this is right here is custom right here. Yeah, it's full custom. Oh, wow. uh, we kept the factory sensors. Nice. So that one's pretty cool. That's I sick. actually like how he did that one. Um, and then yeah, I mean. Pretty much still a factory front end. Uh, we got some Baja going on just to, you know, you go with the snow, man, you need some lights, you know? <laughs> For sure, man. So, Visibility. Yeah, it, it works very well, man. We tried it this past weekend. It works just perfectly fine. Nice. I like how it's uh, like a very subtle, like almost factory look, but it has all the protection you need, you know? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Very, um, it's protect the bumper. For, yeah. For the most part, you go on trails and whatnot. Nice, um, nice. Cool. What about the uh, wheels and tires? So let's suspension. move to the wheels and tires. So these are uh, the T37's MT, oh, sorry, XT M specs uh, with the Chasing Jays uh, lug nuts. Nice. Thank you, Chasing Jays, for that. Uh, center caps were supplied by Showstoppers, um, Vegas, and uh, SoCal. They came through with that. Um, nice. Tires are the Toyo MTs. This was by uh, Love Shop in Fremont. Uh, shout out to Vidar, Low, uh, Val, all of those guys over there. Nice. Um, yeah, they did the whole setup. Um, on top of that, we did some fender trimming, uh, bumper trims, just to make 35s fit. Um, we also got the uh, full Total Chaos front to back uh, control arms uh, with the Kings. Uh, this is still a mid travel setup. Uh, due to the KDSS, right? Uh, don't want to take the whole KDSS system off. Right, it, right. it actually works pretty well. Uh, although I do have the uh, Dr. KDSS switch that Dom provide uh, Dom provided. 
which works really great as well. well. So what does that actually do for you? So basically, it turn you can turn off manually turn off KDSS oh, okay. on and off. Gotcha. Uh, so basically, uh, it just disables the struts for the sway bar mm -hmm. because the KDSS have struts. Mm -hmm. uh, so it just disables that. It's just basically free moving. Gotcha. Yeah. So like a regular it makes, sway bar at that yeah. point. Yeah. Well, it kind of feels like you don't have sway bars. Oh, okay. But it's still like there. A disconnect almost. Yeah. Sweet. So, okay. um, you know, it, you get the comfort when you drive, you know, yeah. all, off road as well. It's very comfortable when you turn it off. Nice. Um, and on cool. top of that, yeah, we did the Total Chaos King, so the bypasses that was done by um, Hazardous uh, in, in uh, Riverside, oh, SoCal. Yeah, nice. I had to drive all the way over there to get, to get it done. Yeah, yeah I think they were the only ones that was helping me out, man, so shout out to them. Shout out to yeah, Hazardous, Shout out right. to them. Right on. Um, Next I got, up. I got to ask you actually, Anthony, sorry to interrupt. Um, yeah. How did the uh, MTs um, perform in the snow? Dude, it was great, bro. Like, I have... I haven't slipped once. Nice. It was great. Like, you know, with, with the whole GX uh, drivetrain, it, it did really well. Like, I was nice. really surprised. They did way better than my Falcon uh, AT3Ws. You know, okay. They were way better. For MTs, they're, they're great, man. I would yeah. highly suggest them. Nice. Right um, and cool. moving forward, uh, got? we got the Ronin uh, side mirror brackets where you can mount some uh, ditch lights or so. Got nice. the S2 Sports there. Uh, still covered with snow. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Chasing Jays uh, hardwares oh, as I like well. That. So we got the titanium, the burnt titanium that hardwares. Sick. I like that. Um, and then moving forward, we have the RSG sliders. Um, that's been kind of banged up, man. Uh, they, they, they've been <laughs> put it to use. Yeah, they've been working out great for me. Um, with that, we have the front skid plate as well on the front. And RSG. then the rest, uh, RSG, and then the rest, uh, as of right now, from transmission all the way to the rear diff is RCI. Okay. But um, our uh, RSG just recently hit me up, and um, we're probably going to be running the RSG transmission and center diff uh, skids for this one, too. So nice. We'll see how that goes. Right on. Um, Sounds good. Moving forward, we have the Kings also on the rear, which is a 2 2 bypass with a, a resi finned. Uh, Find Resi um, for the rear. It's been working out great. The 3.0. Sick. And then. Um, 3.0 is beefy, man. <laughs> 3.0 is, man. It's been doing great. It's been great. Um, a little bit more travel as well. So it was. It was. It was. It was a lot more easier to wheel with this. Yeah. Yeah. So. I bet. I bet that ride's pretty nice for. It rides really stuff, comfortable. Yeah. yeah nice. For sure, very comfortable. Um, Sweet. All right. Next up, we have the uh, JW. Moly, pa uh, moly panels, uh, and then we also have the JW roof rack nice. um, with a Rome box up top. That's where I keep all my recovery tools. Uh, never take chances, man. <laughs> <laughs> when you get stuck, you gotta be able to get yourself out at least. Can't be um, too safe, man. And we got the Max Trax uh, recovery boards right up there, Sweet. and then the Agency Six. Uh, I usually just mount my Agency Six shovel right over there. Right on. That ain't brand new, man. It's been uh, scratched up now, too, you know? I can see that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then going to the back, we have the... Uh, also, Jesus built this custom uh, rear oh, nice. bumper with a dual swing out. Um, just an extra protection for the back. That looks real good. Yeah. We got that, and we got the factory sensors all... Uh, working oh, as well. Oh, they're still on here too? Yeah. Oh, nice. This one fell off, so I gotta put it oh, back on. Oh, I was gonna say, you're gonna miss it. <laughs> Don't trip, but everything else, it's, it's also where I, gotta, I just gotta put it back on. Those are cheap, those are cheap, um, yeah. But yeah, we got that. Sick, man. I'm gonna open this one, actually. So it's a dual swing out. No one else has this, huh? This is like the 101? Uh, yeah, this is the first one he built for the 460. That is, uh, the hinges are all exposed. Um, reason for that is, if I'm not really going on trips or off-roading I usually just take the swing out you know save some weight right um, but if we do go on trips you just leave it on there right right um, nice to have we, that um, uh, I guess modularity modularity you know, yeah yeah being able to so take it on and off yeah, that's one save of the reasons weight. why I did the hinge outside so I can easily take them off nice yeah. nice <clears throat> and then cool. we got he made a custom mount for the camera rear camera oh, that's sick. to I relocate that. that yeah 
but everything is uh, bolted on um, and reinforced uh, fully so it can take some beating okay um, you know we got since we lost our rear um, reverse lights we just added the Baja um, oh, the Baja uh, what do you call it rock lights as a reverse yeah, light like which that, is man. plenty bright enough for sure yeah, I really like how um, Jesus did the job where it's, you know, very, again, like, yeah. very subtle and, you know, like, almost yeah, like dude. it's factored in, like, well thought out, you know? Yeah, very happy with this one. Yeah. Um, he also made it work where I keep my ladder for the back as I need that one real bad, man. I, I use this ladder all the time, so shout out to Nashfab Co. for this one. Nashfab. Um, for supplying me the ladder, nice. um, my whittle ladder. <laughs> <laughs> um on top of that we also have the Baja rear chasing lights um, which also works very well when you go night trailing very nice yeah, so that and Shit. then just close this one out oh actually you know what I know the back's really packed but <clears throat> shout out to bison <laughs> Hi. shout out to bison for these uh, rear hatch table actually oh, that's yeah sweet. if you're going a quick uh, if you want to go outside and eat out just you know pop up pop this out and just, oh. get a quick uh, lunch maybe with a view that was with as a molly panel also That's yeah molly like panel that. yeah bison gear bison Shout gear out. sick dude what's this right here for just to this is for uh lunch. my uh what do you call this uh fire extinguisher mount oh nice right, so okay. I just mount it out inside right on <clears throat> and then oh, it's so good all right we got that close this one out um he also also, on top of that, Jesus incorporated a molly panel for the left side swing out. Oh, nice. To mount my high lift mount. That's Mando, man. You carry a spare and no high lift? It doesn't make sense. Just kidding. <laughs> but, <laughs> but That's good. Yeah, man. You got to carry your spare. You got to have a high lift mount to at least swap it out. You did a great job, man. Shout out to Jesus. Uh, so where is Jesus located again? Jesus is located in San Jose. San Jose. Yeah. Okay. And what's the name of his company? Uh, MZ. His Instagram is MZ, MZ. underscore 4 w, uh, 4W Customs. Gotcha. Yeah. MZ4W Customs. Yeah. Right on, man. Did a good cool. job. And then, um, one last slide over here. Over. Um, this is just uh, my quick uh, trip setup. We have the roam on a uh, six and a half foot awning on the side. Uh, I also have the four feet that goes in the rear and a kick ass um, uh, bathroom tent nice. that goes on the other side. But Gotcha. I don't normally put that on until we go like camping, camping. Right, right, right. Um, you ready for base camp? Base camp, yeah. <laughs> there you go, baby. Coming up. You ready for um, base camp? Base on camp. On top of that, we also got we also got the Abaja uh, oh, side uh, side roof rack lights, which come in handy when you go camping. Yeah, for so sure. That works out really well. I really like the I really like these right here. Then we have the uh, we have a case right here where I keep all my all my air tools, air down tools. Nice. So you got the Morflate uh, four way, and you got the, my deflators. Shout out to Tyler you know. Morflate. Yep, we got the uh, some uh, pressure gauge. So I just keep that there all the time. Um, yeah. So I don't have to, you know, save some space inside. For sure, bro. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, we got the Dr. KDSS switch, which goes okay. right over here. Um, we have a custom switch for it, um, which goes, if I press this one, it should, the KDSS light will turn on right inside. Oh, nice. Okay. Which, uh, which de deactivates the sway bars. Nice, nice. <clears throat> And then we have the Switch Pro, uh, light mount, uh, light switches, eight gang switch. Very clean. I like that. So we have the, uh, Dr. KDSS, um, the bracket for the sway bars so you can see it right here on the side and then which actually keeps the sway bar in place you do, it doesn't move around too much nice we have the bracket as well and the mount for the sway bar so it, it corrects the angle nice. so Dom is really clever for that man that, that's been working out very well for me he seems like to be the go-to guy for all the GX guys oh for huh? sure yeah <laughs> KDSS in general yeah he's the guy um, right on, and dude. on top of that, we also had the rear sway bar clamps from Dr. KDSS mm -hmm. and um, the rear um, shock lower skids from Rago. 
where I go. I don't know how to say it. Yeah. But um, nice. But yeah, pretty much factory drive train, factory everything, keeping their rel uh, reliability. Yeah. And then just you know whatever is pretty much necessary for off roading and camping and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. For sure. So, I love it, man. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Right on. Do you have any uh, plans that? Aren't too top secret uh, coming um, this year, 2023? Coming up, I mean, not, not nothing much really. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the vehicle yeah. as of right now. I mean, it's it's doing, you know, the purpose that I built it for. Mm -hmm. And it's taking us places and, you know, been going around pretty much, pretty much just driving it, really, yeah. anywhere. Um, the only thing that's going to be added really is just we're swapping over the headlights to the 2020 headlights. Oh, okay. Change and, it up. And we're getting the... Uh, I think it's like the scarlet rear taillights, which is the sport red. Oh. And then I, that would pretty much wrap up everything that, yeah. you know, I envisioned for this car. Right, right, right. But everything else is pretty much done. Um, just going to enjoy it, you know. Yeah. Take it out. As you should. Yeah, yeah, take it out. Have fun with it. Drive it around. I mean, hopefully take it cross town or cross country. Yeah. Take it. To, hopefully take it to Moab this year. So we'll, so we'll see how that goes. Right on, yeah. man got big plans for this year so for sure sounds good brother well appreciate yeah. your time man thank you i know thank it's you. cold as heck out here so uh <laughs> thank you again thank, thank you buddy, man. thank you we'll Let's see you guys soon base sure. camp baby let's go baby we'll see you at base camp let's go